my name is Jennifer and welcome back to my channel, the CRPS Network. Today I'm going to talk about barometric pressure changes and how they affect your pain levels. I know for myself, I definitely can predict the rain better than the weatherman can. I can feel it coming. And I know a lot of people with CRPS that say the same thing. They uh, feel much worse in the bad weather. And I just wanted to kind of talk about a little bit about why that is. Barometric pressure is the weight of the atmosphere around us. And when the barometric pressure drops, it usually happens right before a storm. The air pressure is lower. The less, the low pressure against our bodies allows our tissues to expand. And when our tissues expand, this creates pressure on our joints and which then causes the pain. So that's kind of a little bit the science behind why it happens and what's going on. And um, I wanted to talk a little bit about how you can monitor that. There's many different apps that you can use to monitor barometric pressure changes. There's one called um, Barometers and Altimeter. There's another app called Barometer Reborn. And I'll leave a link below to some different apps. There's a couple different apps too that you can use that track the correlation between your pain levels and barometric pressure changes. And some of these apps are called the Chronic Pain Tracker or the Pain Diary Forum Catch My Pain. Again, I'll leave links below to these apps in case you want to check them out. Okay, and then I also wanted to talk about where in the world or where in the country are the best places for the least amount of barometric pressure changes. Perhaps maybe you wanna consider moving to one of these places to lower your pain related to barometric pressure changes. So I'll stop and start with the top 10. I'll just count down from 10 to number one, the best places for least amount of barometric pressures changes. The number 10 is New Orleans. Number nine, Phoenix. Number eight is San Francisco. Number seven is Sacramento. Number six is San Jose. Number five is Tampa, Florida. Number four is Los Angeles. And number three is San Diego. Number two is Miami. And the best place for the least amount of barometric pressure changes is Hawaii. Let's all move to Honolulu, woo! Anyway, so if you have uh, barometric pressure changes related pain, make sure to let us know in the comment section and maybe where you live. And if it's, um, you know, if you have a lot of pressure changes or if you feel like it's pretty good there, let us know in the comment section below. All right, so that's it for my video today. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please make sure to give it a thumbs up so other people would like you can find it. I make new videos every week. So click on the subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified of when I make the next one. Till next time, take care.